I just found a free AI agent that lets you scrape any website you could think of. And no, this isn't like other AI scrapers that need you to manually trigger them or that fail when you give them a data set that's way too big. Because this tool has a scheduling feature, it can handle thousands of rows of data, and you can even use it to call your own browser to check tons of different things. For example, to see whether or not ChatGPT is actually recommending your products. By the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly what this tool is and some pretty crazy use cases you could use it for. Now that brand new tool that I'm talking Matt is going to be Retriever AI because this allows you to automate any browser tests, scrape data from any site, you can have it monitor your competitors 24-7 or even run complex research in parallel. For example, let's say that we come over to this website right here, BL101, and we want to be able to scrape this page for all of the products, all the sizes, and all the prices for their latest drop. All we have to do in order to do this is just pull up the Retriever Chrome extension right here, come over here, and put in a prompt, for example, Example, on this page, scrape all of the product sizes, prices, and color variations. Click on send message right here. And now this is going to go through and this is going to do this. And we could see right here that it's now going through and analyzing the request, preparing the extraction, extracting from the tab. And then what this is going to do is put this all in an Excel sheet so that I can view it very easily. And we can see right here that there are 43 different products here and a lot of other scrapers would fail with that many products, but this one can handle thousands on top of that. It is incredibly quick. Look at this. I did all of this with my hands free right now. And this just did this in less than 60 seconds. And now we have all of this information right here where we have the actual source website for the link for each one of these products. We have the color variation, all these different colors. We have the price, we have the product name, we have the sizes, and this doesn't only work for e-commerce websites. Because you can also use their cloud platform right here, which is incredibly useful. And as we can see right here, we have an agent right here. We could view all of our different executions. We could see all the tools that we've actually given this access to. You could manage all of your schedules from right here, triggers, API keys, and so much more, all from this one neat place. So if we come over to agent right here, we could get this to do tons of things. For example, we could ask this to go through and actually enrich a list of things that we have. For example, I have this list right here of 161 different businesses in South Florida that would be leads for my business that I want to reach out to. And what I'm going to get this to do is enrich this list. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask this to please enrich this list of URLs by adding in their best support slash help email address, phone number, address, and number of employees. And then all I have to do is copy this list right here, come back over here, paste this right here. And we could see that this isn't going to break, even though we have all of these different asks right here. And just like that, we have our sheet filled out with all their headquarters, contact and about URL, the employee count, industry, description, company name, all from the URL. And we could see that this didn't break, even though we gave it hundreds of different things here. But that's not the only thing that you could do with this tool because Retriever AI also lets you connect any app to the web via their remote MCP so that you could put a scraper inside of any tool that you want. Okay. So let's say that we wanted to now hook Retriever up to Claude. This is how simple it is to do. So you just come over here, you click on copy MCP URL over here. You are then going to come over to Claude. You're going to come into your connectors right here. You're going to scroll down to add customer connector. We're going to put in here retriever. Dot AI. We can then put in the URL here and we're going to click on add right here. And this is going to go through and this is going to add access to retriever to our Claude. And then now if we come over here and you actually click into Retriever and click in a configure, you could see all of the different things that this is able to do. For example, it could get things, it can extract things, it can act, it could get page data, it could take page action and so much more. And now we could just come over to Claude and ask it to do anything with Retriever. For example, use Retriever directly act tool to get the top 10 LinkedIn posts from my feed. We just click on this right here. Now what this is going to do is this is going to use that new MCP in order to activate Retriever. And then it's actually going to open up tabs on my own post right here. Check this out. We're going to click on allow once right here. And this is then going to go through act on tab and begin to open up an agentic tab right here that's going to my LinkedIn and then it's going to get me the 10 LinkedIn posts from my feed using Retriever. And we could see right here that it's over here actually doing this. And we could see exactly what this looks like as this goes through, my hands are up here and operates on LinkedIn for me from a simple request 
from Claude. I want you to think about how powerful this is because you don't only have to use this in order to approve requests like this, you can have this actually take action on your behalf across other browsers while you operate here from Claude. Okay, so now we can see that this went through and this found these posts. So we could see that we got one post from Will, it gave us the engagement, it gave us the content, same thing with Nancy here, same thing with Aspen, and we could see that this was only able to get three posts because my hasn't been super active, but what I then asked it to do was to scroll down even further and find other seven posts that I could find useful because essentially I follow just a bunch of people that are in my niche on LinkedIn and I can now use this content in order to create more content for myself. Like I was telling you before, you could get this to take any action that you could do in Retriever from inside of Claude by just directing it right here. Now I don't want you to think that you can only hook this up to Claude because you can hook this up to any AI tool where you could hook it up with MCP. For example, things like NADN and so many other tools. In addition to that, another use case that I did want to make sure that you were aware of with this is you could actually get this to be inside of your tools if you were building something. So long as there's an API or MCP inside of your tool, you could hook your tool up to Retriever so that users can actually use Retriever from inside of your tool without knowing that that's what's happening in the background. And again, here are a few more posts that this went through and grabbed from my LinkedIn feed. Now, before I get into those other use cases that are only gonna blow your mind even more, I wanted to remind you that you could go to the pinned comment below and get started with Retriever AI today for free. This is by far my number one scraping tool when it comes to scraping with AI, and I think you're gonna love it too. Now, this is pretty meta right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over to Claude, and you could do this directly from your terminal if you wanted to also. And you could say, using Retriever, search for the top 10 Christmas toys on ChatGPT and return the top 10 results. Now, we're gonna actually change this to top Top 10 Christmas toys for 2025 on ChatGPT and then return the results. Now what this is going to do is this is actually going to go through, ponder this, it's then going to figure out exactly how to do this inside of Claude using Retriever and then this is going to open up a brand new tab right here and actually do this search on ChatGPT. Now if you know anything about ChatGPT, the only way to actually figure out what things are ranking on ChatGPT is to open up ChatGPT for yourself, but now you can get this to actually do that for you. And you could do this in order to see whether or not your own products are ranking in ChatGPT, whether or not somebody else's products are ranking in ChatGPT. And you could actually use this in order to build out a tool that's going to be using the Retriever MCP or API in order to help people rank for search on LOMs, ChatGPT, or anything like that, because it will actually be able to access their search results. And this is the only way to access it. And then actually say, hey, your product is ranking ranking for this term, your product isn't ranked for this term, here's what you should fix or here's what you should change in order to actually do that. We can see right here that this is now going through and this is taking action on this other tab inside of ChatGPT for us. And then it's gonna give us the results right here, which is pretty crazy that we have Claude using ChatGPT. And again, you can do this from inside of a terminal if you wanted to. So now that this is actually done, we could see that this went through and gave us results for exactly what is showing on ChatGPT for this search. And again, you could put this inside of a tool. You could use this in order to see if your own products rank, or you could use it to help other people rank without ever having to go to ChatGPT to pull these things. And you can now pull them in mass for multiple searches all at once. And that final use case that I wanted to show you is how you could use Retriever AI to schedule things out. For example, commenting on social media while you sleep. Check this out. Now, for this last use case here, I wanted to show you how you can actually schedule things out here. So as we could see right here, if we come over here to scheduled workflows, we could actually click on this and click on the plus right here, and we could build out a new scheduled workflow. For example, I have a bunch of Instagram posts right here, and I wanna get this to go through and comment on these posts. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this Instagram commenter, we could set the run frequency right here so we could have this happen every X minutes, every X hours, every X days. I'm gonna get this just to run once for the sake of this. We could have the start time right here. I am going to just have this scheduled for this right here. And then we could actually select what the workflow steps are going to be for this. So we could see all the different things that have happened before in the past. And essentially what we need to do is just get this thing to happen inside a retriever over here. Then we could schedule it out to happen. So what I'm gonna do is I am gonna come over here and I'm gonna ask this to go to these posts right here. So for each row on this sheet, go to the post on Instagram and leave a comment 
that is relevant to the post. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to change the spelling of this and we're going to get this to go through and actually take action here. So I'm sending this message right here. This is now going through and this is going to do this. Okay, so now we can see right here, this is going through and this is actually opening up all of these different Instagram posts and all of these different Instagram pages right here. And then this is going to go through and actually process this and leave a comment on these posts. Now we could get this to do this for specific accounts, for specific posts, for whatever we actually want. You just want to make sure that you're logged into Instagram and then we could see that this is now going through and this is doing all this agentically and then I'll show you the results when this is done. We could see that this now gave us a comment status for each of these, gave us the post and it actually goes through and shows us exactly what happened here. Now, if we actually come over into these posts, we could see that I left a comment 30 seconds ago here, great post, really enjoyed this. And we could see that it went through and it did this on all of these different posts. Now, again, I wanted to show you this because this shows the power of something that can go through, take action as a spreadsheet right here. And then as we come over here, we come over to schedule. Again, we're gonna come over here. We're gonna call this post commenter. We could have this run once. We could choose the start time. We could choose the workflow. And then we could actually go through and choose this workflow right here. Choose how we actually want this to be executed. And then we could click save schedule right here. And we could see that we have this running down here. And we could see all the times that it ran. We could pause it. We could go through and edit it. We could delete it if we wanted to. And you could see all of your scheduled actions down here. So basically, you just go through. You do it manually once with the Chrome extension. And then you could schedule it out to have happen however frequently you want. In addition to that, at this point, you could also add in the ability for this to automatically append new rows on here so you don't have to keep doing this each time. Now, if you enjoyed this video, you should check out this video right here that walks you through five other things that you could do with Retriever AI. I'll see you over there.